thanks for watching. I'm going to show you some of my favorite uh, Topps UFC cards. Started collecting a while back and uh, I found it really enjoyable. Um, great investment, a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. We'll start off here with uh, Antonia Bigfoot Silva. First autograph, Topps 2011 Moment of Truth. And it's his red auto, and this is uh, numbered to 15, meaning there's only 15 of those cards in the world. Clay Guida, huge fan of him. I've always called him uh, the uh, Arturo Gotti of UFC. If you're watching a Guida fight, you're you're gonna get your money's worth. He's just uh, a great brawler. Tons of action, just energy through the roof, awesome fighter. This is his uh, 2009 round two, red auto, numbered to 25. Got a rich Ace Franklin from the same set, numbered to 25, and uh, he did sign it Ace, which is really nice, and it's in great condition. Ruthless Robbie Lawler. Big fan. He goes in there swinging. Chances are you're going to see a KO if you're watching a Lawler fight. Big fan. And this is his first autograph, um, first red autograph, 2011 Moment of Truth. Got a 2010 main event, Tops. Randy Couture signed the natural, number to 15. Awesome card, great fighter. Got a Frank Mir 2010 knockout card. Huge fan of Frank. Um, I respect him as a fighter. I think he's a, a great fighter. People tend to forget, you know, he's an ex champ and uh, a, amazingly knowledgeable commentary. Um, big fan of Frank. Of course, what collection wouldn't be complete? Without a Chuck the Iceman Liddell, Red Auto, number to 15, with the Iceman inscription. From the same series, another one of my favorite fighters, Vitor, the Phenom, signed the Phenom, number to 15. Can't wait to see what happens between Vitor and Wanderlei. Comment below if you uh, if you got an opinion on that upcoming fight. Of course, Hoist Gracie. Who could forget? The card is in beautiful shape. That's tape you see up top there. Um, he has a really nice autograph. This is Red Auto Main Event 2010, um, number to 15. This is just a great, great card from a Hall of Fame fighter. Um, he won the first UFC I ever saw, which was UFC 2. That's when I started watching. And uh, I grew up just, just worshipping this guy. He is um, he's one of the originals that carved the way, especially for the ground fighting, clearly, the BJJ. Moving on. Newer fighter. We got a John Bones Jones, signed in red ink, number to 15. This is a sweet card, 2010 knockout. And then, of course, what collection wouldn't be complete? A little Anderson Spider Silva, signed the Spider in red ink, number to 15. Rated 8 by BGS. BGS is a tough grading. I mean, it's it's great. They certainly look at those cards. So, I mean, even looking at this under a magnifying lens, you'll have a hard time finding any flaws, and yet it still gets an eight, you know. But it's a great card. Great fighter. Up on the BGS scale a little, graded nine. Loyoto, the Dragon, Mashita, number to 25, round two, awesome card. 
Now next, one of my personal favorite cards, Ariani Celesto. Celeste. Boy, it certainly looks like an O at the end there, though, doesn't it? Alright, I see. It's an E. Duh. This is an awesome card. I mean, who who doesn't want this card right here if you're a UFC fan? This is a uh, limited print, only 25 cards in the world, and this is number two. And it is in smoking condition. I gotta get this card graded. I know the centering is right on. It is just, uh, it's awesome. And then stepping it up even more, we got a 9.5 gem. BGS. My favorite fighter of all time. Wanderlei, the axe murderer, Silva, signed axe murderer. Who just doesn't want that card? It is just such an awesome piece of memorabilia. And I'm really, really proud to have it. Number to 25. Awesome. This next card here is a real oddity. A lot of people probably aren't even aware that Tops had cards in 2008 for UFC. This is a Rampage Jackson signed Rampage. And if you can see up in the upper corner, it's numbered to 10. There's only 10 of these cards in the world. And it's an Allen and Ginger. And it's a really, really cool card. This around the outside is actually like a, a frame of sorts. And the card is smaller in the middle. Awesome. And then lastly, probably my favorite card that I own. And this is a card that definitely has a story to it. This is uh, Ben Henderson's first autograph in red ink. Number to 15. And if you notice, in addition to his name, he signed the card, The Champ. And what makes it so amazing is that at the time he signed the card, he wasn't champ. But less than a year later, he is. And given his uh, confidence, it's just amazing that it would actually come to fruition. It's almost like a premonition card. And on top of all of that, you can just see the numbering there. Number 1 of 15. Sweet card. I really hope Ben does good. I think he's got a good chance of staying champ for a while. Um, clearly, he'll be getting a rematch with Pettis soon. I think he's going to be victorious. The man's a ninja. He's out of control. He's got all kinds of skills. And I knew years ago when I started watching him in WEC that soon enough he'd be upper echelon in UFC. And I was right. Really happy to have that card along with the rest of them. Thanks a lot again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.